Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know, an opportunity for us to listen to God together. First, let's hear from the Bible. Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. Now I say to you that you are Peter, which means rock, and upon this rock I will build my church, and all the powers of hell will not conquer it. Peter's a fascinating character. We know little about most of the disciples, but that's certainly not true of Peter, who we get to know extremely well. Time and again, he is the one who speaks first, and on many occasions he gets things seriously wrong. It was Peter who tried to walk on water on the Sea of Galilee and sank. And he was the one who denied ever knowing Jesus on three occasions. We wouldn't have been surprised if Jesus had compared him with jelly. But instead, Jesus declares that, just like his name, he is a rock. Having declared the true nature of Jesus' identity as the Son of God, he declared Peter to be the rock on which the church would be based and that not even the powers of hell itself will be able to conquer it. And the wonderful fact is that that's precisely what happened. Peter became the leader of the church in Jerusalem and played a pivotal role in establishing the early church. The story of Peter should give us all encouragement. Peter was very far from perfect, but God used him to play a crucial part in the foundation of the church. If you were appointing a key strategic leader for the early church, you might well have passed over Peter in favour of someone with a steadier track record. But not Jesus. This was his chosen leader, and so only a few weeks after his horrifying denials of ever having known Jesus, we find Peter boldly preaching to thousands of people on the day of Pentecost. And in the years that followed, we find him leading the Jerusalem church with enormous faith and boldness in the face of constant pressure and violent persecution. When we look at ourselves, we will all see something that is far short of perfection. We are only too aware of our shortcomings and failures, and at times we wonder whether God could ever make any use of us. The story of Peter tells us that we need wonder no longer. Amazingly, God is willing to work even through us and to use us to work for him and to build his church. Let me pray with you. Lord God, thank you that you're able to work in our lives even though we so often let you down. Amen. Thanks for listening. I hope you have a great day and that you'll join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. And if you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and much else besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you.